Guys, hello, hello, Kaleidoscope Cage, the second challenge of the Perilous Trail. Let's jump into this bad boy and uh, see what it's about. Quickly taking a look at the, the rules, essentially. Opposing force, three rounds like the first one. Uh, each time one combat round is completed, two random characters will be unable to continue. So at random, you have really no control over it, uh, which is going to be an interesting one. So same difficulty, Apex Hostility, because we're the mega chads of the game, we always do it Apex Hostility the first time. And our trial characters, they give a Zhongli in the trial characters and a Raiden Shogun. Absolutely 10 out of 10 characters. First round we got, ooh, what an enemy lineup. Actually, that's kind of tough, these enemies. Um, let me think, let me think for my characters. Ayato is a, a great character. We can't really use Sucrose that well here, so we'll go with a Yunjin Bennett. That means one of them is going to get cancelled out, essentially. Unless it's both of them that continue, then that would be kind of unfortunate. Let's go with a Zhang Ling. This team is kind of good, and two of them will continue, and they're all high-value characters. Stratagems, though. Hopefully you guys can see them. I'm moving the character slightly. Uh, assurance, this one. Okay, if you guys get Assurance, you have to take this card. I don't know if you guys know that I'm smart and you guys are smart, but you have to take Assurance. This is absolutely cracked. 30% attack speed on your active character with absolutely zero drawbacks it just it's just 30 percent attack speed to the active character uh so you have to take it everything after that not that important uh, i'm gonna go with inexorable force ayato's damage is gonna be skyrocketing and then after that we can go with uh, the on-field damage of swagger but uh, just listen take assurance trust me on this one assurance is absolutely god to you and uh let's just jump into it i'm absolutely loving this event now I've talked about this on stream yesterday, but this event essentially gives the same vibes as uh, Labyrinth Warriors. It's, it's one of these events that can be transformed into a permanent kind of game mode in the game, where you can weekly farm it for Prima Gems, and I 100% believe that Mahoyo should try to do that. They should try to transform this event into a weekly resetting kind of system. The cards are good. They can constantly be expanding the cards, the zones. It's all really good to be made into a resetting system. Uh, now, and I really do hope that they add more of like things like that. Resetting systems weekly, fortnightly. I'd say weekly actually more than fortnightly. But this and Labyrinth Warriors are the biggest contenders. And this one with its card system... If they just expand upon the cards a bit more, 100% be could become uh, a really popular uh, weekly resetting system that rewards the players weekly. Primo gems, resources, heroes wit, mora, just the usual stuff. Don't have to, doesn't have to be crazy. Just something to reward the players every week. Uh, moving on here, we've got these bad boys, the Bastithmal Vishaps. Can't pronounce their name correctly because I've got a Lith. The Bathysmal Vishaps. This is actually so far really easy. Ayato is actually shredding the enemies. I hope he continues, but two characters are chosen at random after the next combat round here. So hopefully Ayato and Bennett or Ayato and Zhang Ling go through. They are my slightly better characters. But either way, any character here is 100% value. Absolutely shredding the enemies here. Ayato, the 30% damage increase is actually like really good for like Ayato. And even like a Hu Tao or something, if you if you get the assurance thing, even if you take it like and you don't have any good characters for it, it will give value. But if you get it and have like the correct characters to use it on, Hu Tao, Ayato, Yoi Mia even, uh, Raiden Shogun, it's, it could be really high value. And which characters are chosen at random? Ooh, deployment... There goes Bennett and Zhang Ling. So that means my Ayato and Yun Jin continue, which is actually really good. They're a good combination. Uh, for the next round, again, we've got no enemies that are suckable, so we won't be using uh, Mrs. Sucrose here. I might chuck in a Gene. I don't have a Gene on this account, so I'm going to be using the actual game's Gene. And I think for a bit of fun value, I'm going to chuck in Ayako, just because I like Ayako as a character. Going on to the next one. Now, listen. Assurance is way too good to not take from the previous round. We're going to take Assurance. Uh, crit rate will be increased. Nah. After the character's normal attacks hit opponents, increase the damage. Sure. And when a character's uh, with higher HP, 70% or higher. Let's go with that because we have a gene and we can easily heal our team. Those are my three cards. Let's continue on to the next round.
This event, event feels very fluid. I think that's another massive positive about this event. It just feels really fluid. There's no stopping. You just go, 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 choose the next team, kill enemies, and that's what we need. That's what we need in this game. And I hope Mahoyo really does build upon this. They definitely could have added more enemies. Fighting two enemies at a time is kind of bland, but this is only the second challenge, and I think the enemies are randomized. I actually don't think there's a, a thing that you can do about it. Because I've done this a few times, I think last night on stream, where I did a few, a few rounds, and the enemies were always randomized. So I don't think everyone will always have the same experience, which is actually also a good thing, but also maybe sometimes not a good thing. Randomized enemies is, is interesting, but can prove difficult if you're trying to be competitive, because then it would come down to RNG as to who gets, let's say, the better enemies or the easier enemies. Because this right now is super easy enemies, like Vishaps and, uh, w like, Wolves, only in twos, very easy. But we're absolutely shredding it. Ayato is a machine, 17,000s, 16,000s. Absolute monster on the field. Really can't beat him, can you? This gene is super weak, but it's fine. And uh, there we go, another one complete. Where is the door? There it is. <clears throat> Bloop. And what do we got here? What was the other enemy? The ah, the big boys, the big Bethesmal Vishaps. Interesting. They're not the actual bosses. I'm assuming we actually might fight the actual Bethismal Vishaps after this. Which would be... Actually, I'm, I'm kind of curious if that is going to be the thing. In the in third round, are we going to be fighting the actual Bethismal Vishaps? I think we should. That would be very fun. Come on, Ayato. Shred him. Losing uh, Bennett and Zhang Ling was definitely not a positive, but... Because I think the Zhang Ling Ayato combo is ridiculous. The vaporizers that you do, absolutely ludicrous. And there we go. Round two completed. Let's pray for my Ayato to continue. Praying to some sort of high power. Let's go. Oh! What a, what a, what a kick. What a kick at me whilst I'm down. Ayato and Aika get cancelled out. That's very unfortunate, but not too bad. I still got my Yula. Let's go Yula Zhongli because this is the final round. We'll go Yula, Raiden Shogun, Zhongli, as well as, let's say, uh, we've got these guys up here. We need at least a Hydro character, I think. So, you know what? Why not? I'll just chuck on a Barbara. I don't really mind. Um. Yeah, that's fine. Let's go with that. Uh, and then as for my stratagems, the attack speed, we don't need it again. We don't have Ayato. It's, you know, negligible. After entering battle, the crit rate, uh, crit damage of characters will be increased by 80 when they deal damage. They will lose constantly uh, HP. Mm. Let's go with the crit rate uh, when the active character deals damage whilst having 100% elemental energy, which is not necessarily a good thing, but, you know, it's a little bit of a bonus. Uh, let's go with this one, and you know what? Might as well get the attack speed. I don't know. It's just it's good. It's just a good card. The attack speed is a really really good card. Uh, so we'll get two purples and one blue. Let's see what happens. See if my Yule can carry me through this round. Now I did notice that the enemies weren't the Bathysmal Vishaps, which is kind of disappointing that the Magu Kenki was fightable in the first round, but there's no uh, Bathysmal Vishaps here. But whatever. Ooh. Okay, we got some easy enemies here. Yule is absolutely shredding him. 26,000 on a normal hit. Just because Yule can. Just because she can. And that's a good enough reason. Yule exists and she does massive damage. Moving on, round two, or, or combat sequence two. So far, so easy. Again, some other easy enemies. Thanks for much 
do one of these bad boys. Here comes the Eula Burst. Chuck that bad boy in. Do that. Or bam. I'm just going to pop it early and see what happens. Bam. 298,000. We have to kill two more. Oh my god. Chuck a meatball into the mix. You know, might as well pull out the Raiden Shogun Burst. See what happens. How much damage? To be quite frank, the trial characters aren't that strong. I'm going to be absolutely realistic. Trial characters, not that strong. Could be better. Could be better. Not even like a 50,000 hit there on the burst. Kind of saddening, but oh well. People might struggle with Apex hostility with the trials, but it is what it is. You, you take what you can get. You got to take whatever doubles you can. And in this case, it's a uh, none. Moving on to the final combat sequence, which I believe is going to be something important, which I didn't really look at the list of. Uh, what are we fighting? Ah! Oh, it was him! Never mind, it is a boss. Okay. Alright. Actual boss. I totally didn't... I didn't actually look at it. Let's send it. Massive damage from Eula incoming. Big hit. Not really. It didn't crit. I'm kind of depressed. My Eula didn't crit. How dare you? Let's go right in Shogun Burst. Go! We don't have a shield. Raiden Shogun takes a bunch of damage. It's fine. Zhongli shield goes down. Oh, what a combat sequence. 53,000 hit. 14,000. 29,000. Oh, Yule is an absolute monster when you got her at C3. Oh, look at this. And we finish the challenge in record-breaking time of 5 minutes and 56 seconds. And that gets us all the rewards because we did it on the max difficulty because that's for this event that's all you have to do is just do the event on the highest difficulty essentially to get all the rewards which is what more could you ask for just play the game and you'll get all of the rewards we get a refinement for the weapon which all the challenges are going to give one and then you buy two from the shop which is 10 out of 10 thank you guys for watching and i'll see you in the next one